I'm gonna be running a mile every day for the next 30 days to see how it affects my mind and body. And if I miss even one day of running, I will run an extra mile every day for the remaining 30 days. I'm doing this to see if it'll help make me more productive, gain discipline, and find a sense of direction in my life. Because lately, I feel like I'm just going through the motions of my day, constantly getting distracted, not finishing what I start, and falling short of my goals. I lack discipline and motivation to do the things that I want to do, and I feel like I'm wasting my days away. But all of that changes today. Let's begin. All right, day one is upon us of running a mile every day for 30 days, no excuses. We just had heavy snowfall here, 10 to 14 inches, and I picked the perfect day to start it. It's negative seven degrees outside right now with a cool wind chill making it feel like negative 24 degrees. The least likely day to start it, I'm starting it. This entire week is nice and cold, but it's not gonna stop us. I should have worn something for my face. It's already frozen and I'm 20 seconds in. The whole point of this is to say I'm gonna do something for 30 days and follow through and do it and see if it helps me in my work and life. Like I said, be more productive, get more done, have a sense of discipline of, I'm gonna do this every day and give me that sense of direction like, yes, this is what I should be doing in life. There's a bunch of snow on the sidewalk. Everything on me is cold. These gloves didn't help at all. My feet and toes frozen. Even my throat, I think is so cold that it's like sore. Day number two of running for 30 days. This time I put on a mask because I learned from yesterday how cold it was outside. Luckily though, it's not as windy. I gotta say yesterday was decently productive, not like incredibly productive. I just kept running into one issue after another and it made it difficult to get into like the flow state. These sidewalks have so much snow. If there's anybody else running, they would have rolled their ankle by now. Luckily I have the agility of a cat and it takes a lot for me to roll an ankle. Today I woke up early and just sat and laid in my bed because I just wanted to stay there. I didn't want to go do my run. I think the reason I sat in my bed and didn't really want to do this run because I was thinking about all the work that I had to do today that's not related to my YouTube channel. And there's a ton of work that I have to do with that. So then today I'm laying in my bed thinking about all the work that I got to do. And I'm thinking in the back of my mind, when am I ever going to get time to work? on my stuff because I just feel like these keep happening and then, like my goals and where I want to be just keep getting farther and farther away. Like I understand to approve you have to put work in on yourself but I also got to pay bills and I got to make sure that my clients stay with me. So this morning yeah when I'm like don't really want to run I just want to get my work started but I mean 10 minutes for a run it's not going to waste a lot of time. I have plenty of time to do it. I just want to be able to work on my stuff. That's why I'm running this during January, in the middle of January, because this originally was supposed to be in October. I was supposed to start this and two other 30 day challenges on October 1st. And then it, it didn't happen. I got busy with a lot of business work. So I was like, all right, November. November came and went. December, can't do December. All right, January 1st. Didn't start till January like 15th. That's where the goal of mine to become a full-time YouTuber is so that way I can make like the best quality videos and write my books where I can just focus on doing those things. This morning in my dreams, my mind was telling me, uh, don't run first thing in the morning. Don't run, don't, just, just go do your work. You can do it later in the day. You can do it later in the day. And for some reason, I just, like I wanted to believe it, but I knew that it was just lying to me. Weird. Why would my mind tell me not to do it in the morning? Because like, it kept saying, oh, you have like, all of this work to do. And you, you should have run in the morning. But I was like, I know for a fact I don't have that much work that I can't run in the morning. So I got up, didn't listen to it, got my clothes on, and here we are. I call that a little victory. You know, I'm starting to take back control of my life. That mile felt hard today, but day four complete. We're feeling pretty productive. Let's keep this momentum going. 
You know, it's interesting, this morning I woke up and there was nothing more that I wanted to do than go on my run so I could start working. Yeah, I just want to go and I was like, I can't, like I'm not going to start work until I get my run in. So I was like, waiting to get my run in. Here we are, so let's go, day six. I was sluggish to get up this morning, but I just went through the motions, put on my running gear, went outside, and as soon as I started running, I felt that energy just like flip like a switch and it just went on and I was like, yeah, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this and take on the day. So we're seven days in and I can already feel like my brain wanting to go for that run in the morning just to get everything else started. Like it just starts with this. And it makes me think like, where else can I put this in my life? Like what thing do I need to do that'll get me ready to attack the day or attack whatever I'm working on? Day nine mile complete. Felt a little bit of tightness and soreness in the bottom of my feet and ankles. It might be these shoes. Like these shoes have gone through a ton of miles and it just might be getting at the end of their life. Day 10 mile complete, third of the way there. Today, early morning, I have to go work with a client and usually I don't do anything in the morning. I usually like use that time to prep, getting ready for that. But today I wanted to run before I do anything else today. That was the only thing on my mind. It actually got me up where I was like, hey, Let's go on a run early so you have plenty enough time to get ready for this. So this running in the morning has started to be one of the most important things and it sets the tone for my day. So I like it. We're making a lot of improvement. I, I like who I'm becoming. Day 15, we're at the halfway point. Things are going super well. You know, after those first few days where I didn't really feel like I wanted to do it, like nowadays, like I look forward to it. Like it's the key thing that starts my day to get it going. Like if I don't do it, then I don't start my day yet. So I'm guessing that's a good thing. As for the three things that I wanted, it is building discipline in me because typically when I do my run in the morning, I then am like, all right, we got something done. Let's keep it rolling. So I do want to build more of those small victories into my day to get started so that way we can keep the momentum of discipline going and get stuff done as for finding direction with my life i actually had a huge breakthrough with my youtube channel finding exactly the kind of niche that i want to do and the types of videos yesterday that i was working on but that came down to getting the discipline in to sit down and do the work and then just it appeared day 15 mile complete we're halfway there let's try and make this back half even better. But as I continued to run, something just kept bothering me. I was beginning to feel too comfortable during this challenge, and I started to doubt that this was helping me to complete my goals. That by just running one mile every day, that that would be enough. That I would be enough. I didn't believe it. So, I tried to do more, but as I came to find out, that wasn't enough either. Day 24 mile complete, but it's not enough. I, I just... I don't know, it's not enough. I'm gonna go do sprints until I feel like I've done enough. Cause I don't know what to do at this point. Everything that I do, I just feel like it's not enough to get the results that I want. Nothing ever goes according to the plan. It's like I'm just sitting there hoping that one day this all will work out. And then I just feel inadequate like I'm not doing enough. I guess we can call that good enough for today. Five days left in the challenge, but here's the thing. I didn't do this just so that I could do it for 30 days. I did it, changed my mindset to force me to have to do it. And I'm gonna keep it. Like there's no reason I shouldn't be doing this every day. Not only for my physical health, but my mental as well. Like I want to do this and it helps me get stuff done. It helps me feel like I'm doing something, which is good. Sets the tone for the day to get started.
day 30 of running a mile every day for 30 days. At the start of this challenge, I wanted to be more productive, gain some discipline, and find a sense of direction in my life. These last 30 days have been like life-changing for my work and my mental state because I didn't miss a single day. I said I was gonna do something for 30 days and I did it every single morning. And for somebody like me, that's a big deal. Like, I never know what I'm gonna do the next day because my schedule could change that quickly. So being able to cut out time and do this every single day, it made me proud of myself. And here's the thing I learned about discipline during this challenge. You don't have discipline, you don't gain discipline. You build the habit of being disciplined. You build the habit of doing something that then you're like, yep, I already know I'm gonna do this. That's the discipline. At the beginning of this challenge, I just thought, oh, I'll just magically gain discipline and I'll be able to do anything whenever I want. That's not true. I built the habit of doing things, of waking up, going on my run, sitting down at my desk and working. That's what caused me to have discipline, setting up those habits that I do every single day because our habits make up who we are. That's why I've been trying to implement more habits into my life. They don't have to be big, just small ones. Being like, hey, no matter what happens, we're gonna do this today. Even if it's the crappiest work we get done, we're gonna do today just to build that habit. But what about you? What will you do? What goal have you wanted to achieve but have always fallen short of? What have you said you're gonna do but have never done? What habit of discipline do you want to create? Leave it in the comments if you're serious and hit the subscribe button.